it is or was it, you know, some players on the team saying, you need to be here, you need to be here, you need to be here? Mm -hmm. it, was, it was more of my visit. I um, felt like a community, the atmosphere here was kind of crazy, having people follow you and want pictures with you and just supporting you, and that's what I really love. A lot different than Chicago as far as size and, and you know, kind of a little more, a, kind of a crazy laid back. Yeah. yeah. Did, did you like that? Did the, the change in Yeah, I did. At first, I wasn't, I wasn't used to it, honestly. Right. Like, Chicago's more laid back and very quiet. Well, sometimes being here, especially around football, because yeah. we didn't have that in my other school. So, just being able to experience new new um, things as well. First football game, you went to, you just kind of walking with, oh my. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of crazy. Um, we got to go on on the field for the national championship and stuff. Just being able to walk on the field and just go up to the stadium and just see how many people came out to support the, the football team and, and everything was kind of crazy. You're kind of stepping into a whole different atmosphere for the team and the national championship team with a lot of talent and uh, a lot of big personalities and a lot of people around the nation can't wait to beat y'all because mm -hmm. they just don't like the big first alleys and they think your the team's stacked. You kind of like the fact that maybe you're the team that's not liked that much and like everybody like, is aiming for you? Um, honestly, I'm not really thinking about that. I'm just thinking about us as a team and us working together to accomplish the goals that we have set. So much talent in this team. Like, can you see everybody is in it to win it? Like, they, 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 Everybody gives up a little bit of their game for the good of the team. Yes, I would definitely say that I've seen that in practice so far. Everybody has worked hard together. I feel like everybody coming in every day and roll up their sleeves to to be the best person on the court and off the court that they possibly can. So I definitely see the improvement in how it's going to help our team. If you've never been in the practice for coaching before, it's quite unbelievable. I mean, mm -hmm. Did Angel and Faje try to school you like, but this is how it's going to be? So. She says stuff that you like. Did she just say that? No. Actually, Coach Moki said that to us. Like, I just want to let you know. You know, like, she kind of gave us the heads up. But once it happened, were you still like, like, oh, man, I've never had a coach even set to practice before ever? Uh, no. <laughs> no, it wasn't like that. More of, like, me, I was just, I would just laugh at all. So. Yeah, yeah. But most players will laugh off on this team. They, they kind of know her deal. Yeah. yeah. How quickly are some of these relationships forming? You and Bajay shouting back and forth about being each other's favorite people. Just yeah. what is that chemistry rapport, you know, friendships? And um, I don't know. Like, I don't, it's just something special about this group. Um, I would just say we all just kind of click. We all can sit down and have conversations with each other, trust each other. And I don't feel like you get that in a lot of sports teams. How much does that help when it's – time on the court and things are getting feisty to have that level of trust and, and what like it, it, it helps a lot um, just working hard together but it's, it's nothing better than trusting someone someone can love you and not trust you so it's, it's I feel like it, it means a lot to trust your teammates what's been the biggest difference here so far from what you may have expected whether from something with a, a player, the way the team works, or just being in Baton Rouge, Louisiana? Um, I would just say one thing that shocked me, and I talked to Coach Moki about it, is just like how many people are in the gym. I all I like all the time when it comes down to like managers and um, our dream team, is that shocked me. Uh, you had that much support, or was like, were you used to practice with like just your team and not yeah. many people like walking in. Yeah, I'm just used to like practices where it was just me and my team, teammates. We had a, a few practice guys. And you feel like when you walk here, like all these people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but that's that's how practice is every day. Yeah. What were your impressions of this team last year when you did have a chance to kind of see what was happening from afar? What were you thinking as a, a player? I was just I was thinking country? about how passionate they were on and off the court. Angel and Fly J doing what they're doing with NIL. But also, never it never got in the way of basketball. Just seeing that they have their priorities together and that they're working towards the things that they want to accomplish. If talking to some of the players that were here and talking about, you know, I met Lil Wayne was a big one for mm -hmm. Fly J, obviously, Jay Z and Beyonce for Angel. Ask Michaela if there was an ideal, like, dream celebrity to potentially meet through some of this? She said probably Drake or J. Cole. Do you have mm -hmm. someone that 
you would feel like, oh, this would be really cool if I could meet this person. Um, I would love to to meet LeBron James, but I would also love to meet Rod Wade. A lot of music choices. Yes. On this team. What's the on court chemistry like with some of these these players already? We talked about just sort of the relationships and the trust mm-hmm. that's there already, but. Still early on in some of that, but how is the chemistry and competitive? The, the chemistry has been good. You get to see who plays better with one another. Um, when it comes to on ball screens or just cross court passes, and you get to you get to see that. But the chemistry has been good overall. Which of your teammates do you think is pushing you the most? Who you have a, who you go head to head with it, you, or maybe maybe get your get you your energy up? I would say um, Garden Angel. Like, just us going head-to-head with rebounding and posting up and just going ahead. How far does it go? <laughs> Tempers flare a little bit? No, nah, never that. But it's it's always good and competitive going against it. Is it helping your game? Yes. Yes. <laughs> How did you feel about summer in Louisiana? Haley, even from being a little bit farther south than where you're coming from, said the humidity was way worse than what she expected. How did you feel about being yes. – it's very different from summertime shot. Yes, it was crazy, honestly. Um, one day it was like 105 or something like that, and I just wasn't used to it at all. So when I first got here, I honestly just stayed in my room so I could be a little cool because outside was too hot. Have you found some particular Louisiana Cajun food that you, you seem to keep going back to since <laughs> you've gotten here? <laughs> yes, Empire Wings. I've been eating a lot of chicken. Okay. Yes. So no seafood yet? Um, no. Talk about uh, what are you looking for most this season. Uh, you look at the schedule ahead. Um, Lajay says it's the exhibition. That's the first one. But is there anything on the schedule that you see that you're looking forward to the most? Um, I would say our first game in Vegas, just seeing how we could play to, together in front of a, a really large crowd, but also be making history while playing in the, in the tournament as well. How tough was the decision to get in Portland and come down here? It was tough. I didn't really know if I wanted to go on the court. I contemplated about it for a month, a month and a half, and my decision and what I wanted to make. Um, and going into the portal was a little bit hectic with how many offers that I had going in. And then making my decision was honestly when I felt that ease. When you made the decision, you took business. Yeah. Was it an easy decision? How close was it with LSU with somebody else? Or was it a, was LSU a runaway? Uh, it was an easy decision for me. 